uh, GSR and um, thought I'd just document some of the stuff that I'm doing on the car myself. Um, just little things. Um, but today I've decided I was going to try and tackle the cabin filter, which I've found out on the UK and JDM cars is slightly different to some of the US spec ones that I've seen. So here goes. You have to first of all take the glove box out. So to take the glove box out, first of all, there's a little tag. Let me just get a light. So there's this little tag there. And to do that, all you've got to do is put your hand in from behind, lift it off of it. So it's really hard to see this. So it's off the framework. And then push it forward towards you like that. It drops forward and then you just bring it through. Careful not to lose the rubber off of it. And then this side, <clears throat> you just push the glove box in and round. And it should come off, but it's not going to fall off. <laughs> anyway, so what I've found on videos, a lot of the US market ones, they've already had a air filter put in, in these two points there. It's normally got a, a blank plate for the back of it, and it's screwed into those two holes. So, this is what the cabin filter looks like. As you can see, those holes line up, like I say, for when it goes on, in the same place on there. But, because you don't have access, what I've found out is with the UK one, uh, or a Japanese import like this car is, if it hasn't been changed, you've got to cut that round, that line, and cut that out. So let's go for it. Didn't choose the best knife, did I? Got a bloody quick release blade that keeps coming out. Right, now that's cut off, this should just come out, <laughs> there's not actually a cabin filter in there, wow, that's insane, so there you go, there wasn't actually even a filter in there. Maybe that's why it got that blank plate on. Well, we're going to install this one anyway.
Tokyo Dirt. So, this is the filter, and as you can see, it goes in here, like so, and that peg lines up with it, and the holes all line up, and you just screw it in. So, let's find some screws in it. Got to decide. Actually, how much meat there is to what screws I use. So I don't want to blam some massive screws in. Knack her out, do I? There we go. Job job. Just put the glove box on back in reverse. Put a little rubber back on there. Now where's the clip gone? Done. Pretty simple, really. Um, five minute job. Hopefully, now have clean air because there was nothing in there before, <laughs> which is mad. I find that absolutely insane. Right, take care.